What is up everyone? Welcome to Small Cap Crypto, where I talk about small market cap crypto, unsurprisingly, but also share with you things that will help you in your crypto journey. This is purely educational, not financial advice. Please do your own research. All right, so this video, um, I'm going to be responding to a viewer, and we're going to be talking about how to bridge from the Ethereum network to the Binance Smart Chain network. If you already know how to bridge, feel free to skip this video. If you haven't um, bridged before, then this, I think, will be very useful for you. So let's first explain what bridging means. Bridging, essentially, is when you want to move assets from one network to another. So here, Joe wants to move some Ether from the Ethereum network to the Binance Smart Chain network. Something that most people who might have bridged themselves might not fully understand is, uh, is that um, how it works under the hood is this, like this. So on the Ethereum network, you would have a smart contract um, that is uh, owned by the bridge. So we are going to use the official Binance bridge. So it's the Binance bridge smart contract on the Ethereum side. The user here, Joe, would need to send some Ether to the smart contract. The transaction would need to be confirmed. And after some time, on the receiving network side, Joe will be sent some Ether. The thing to note is that the Ether is not actual ether right the ether is the bridges version of the ether officially it's it's the binance peg ether and there's a bit of um trust that you put into the bridge because you uh, expect that you can trade that at the same um, level uh, of of price as as actual ether on the ethereum network um, and and we can trust it right there is a thing called proof of assets and uh, on on the uh, ethereum side that proves that yeah every ether is accounted for and therefore it should be accepted for the same price because you can do this transaction in the same direction you can bridge it back and the bridge would need to give um, you the same amount of ether uh, minus some transac transaction fees okay and when you receive it uh, when Joe receives it it would be sent to the same address in most cases I think some bridges will allow you to specify a different address for it to be sent to but in most cases it's the same address okay now that that is out of the way let's get straight to the practical side of things how you do it um, so here this is the official Binance bridge you can watch the introduction video if you'd like to and then here you will see this link called proof of assets this is exactly what I was talking about earlier Binance Bridge, Binance here um, is giving you the links to those smart contracts that hold those assets. We see here that there's already a um, a total of um, 1.04 um, million ETH um, that uh, ether that is locked, but also um, a wrapped ether here, right? And if you go to if you click on here, it will take you to the smart contract address. Uh, on Etherscan. So this is on the Ethereum side. Uh, there is 1.4 million Ether locked um, in this uh, smart contract. These are all Ethers that have been bridged. And the equivalent side of this on the Binance smart chain side is this one. Binance Peg Ethereum network. You can see that the figure is uh, slightly higher. Um, and I think this might account for um, wrapped ether as well because they are two different um, tokens but that's how you can verify that you know the bridge actually has the amount because if it's a malicious uh, bridge right then on this you would see a lot of ether gone like it doesn't match up with um, this one here um, and that means that it's been withdrawn already but here in this case I think it does um, account also for wrapped ether from ethereum uh, so that means that it's multiple sources but a single output uh, a single token which is the binance pack ethereum token right okay now that is out of the way uh, here um, what you want to do is you want to select the correct from network uh, and here i want ethereum and then you want to select the two network i want binance smart chain select the asset that you want to bridge here, Joe wants to send Ethereum, so we select uh, Ethereum and input the amount, okay? Now, this is my demo uh, wallet, so I don't have any um, Ether. Um, but once you, know, you, once you have sufficient Ether, and if you don't have 
assets in your MetaMask wallet yet, if it's still in your centralized exchange, then you would need to transfer from your centralized exchange account to your MetaMask wallet first, right? You need to load up your assets in your MetaMask wallet first. So once you click next, confirm, uh, the transaction goes through. You pay ridiculous um, gas fees as, as you do on the Ethereum network. Uh, you wait a couple of minutes, it will give you the transaction. You wait for it to be confirmed, maybe 10 minutes. And then after that, you will see your um, 10 minutes or longer then you will see your Ether here um, on the other network. Now, I've already added Binance Smart Chain uh, to my MetaMask uh, wallet, but how, how you would do it the first time is you would need to add a custom RPC. Um, so you want to find information on the official um, net, uh, the, the details for connecting to the network. And this is from academy.binance.com, connecting MetaMask to Binance Smart Chain. And what you do is you go to here. This is where you switch networks. You select custom RPC and you would input all these details. Once you do that, then you would be able to select it from this uh, list. So I've already added it earlier. Now I've switched to here. And then um, you, you will not have uh, Ether displayed immediately. Do not panic. MetaMask by default does not list new tokens even though you own them. You need to import them manually. And how you would do that is you need the contract address for that token. And we've viewed this page earlier, right? Binance peg, um, Binance peg, uh, Ethereum token. So not this one, this one was Ether scan. So this one. So you need this contract address. And what you want to do is you go to MetaMask. And you, and you click import tokens, you paste it in here. Um, and here it says token has already been added because I've already added it. But for you, it will immediately fill up the symbol and token decimal and you just click on add custom token. And then it will display the token in your uh, list of assets. So of course you might need to wait, uh, you might need to wait a little bit, but then after that, you should receive it in the same uh, account. You wouldn't need to switch accounts. So that, that is how you bridge from the Ethereum network to Binance Smart Chain. It works the same for other um, networks too. For example, uh, Avalanche Bridge. There is an official bridge. Uh, it works the same way. You gotta connect your MetaMask wallet. And we need to be on the right uh, network. Right now it's on Binance Smart Chain, which is not what we want. <clears throat> and here uh, it says, you know, from Ethereum to Avalanche, and I need to select the token as well. All right, need to wait some minutes. Uh, I do like the UI of the Avalanche bridge better. And if, for example, if you want to move um, funds into the Polygon network, you go to also uh, the official Polygon bridge. You need to connect your wallet, and they're asking you to sign to verify that this is, this is actually you uh, who owns the wallet. <clears throat> Click on Polygon Bridge and it's the same uh, similar interface as well from Ethereum chain to Polygon chain and you select your token, right? So um, ignore this. Um, it works the same the other way, right? You can also bridge from the other network uh, back into Ethereum, right? Withdraw here, and for Binance uh, Bridge, you can also reverse this. Um, well, we're now on the Ethereum network, so if I just switch this to Binance Smart Chain, <clears throat> change this, yeah, it automatically fills it up, and I can move my Ethereum back. Um, there you go. So that is how you bridge from one network to uh, another. It works pretty much the same across network pairs. Hopefully that has been useful. Uh, this has been Small Cap Crypto. See you next time.